Hey everybody, welcome to After Buzz TV. Tonight we're talking Prison Break Episode 8. On tonight's episode, Whip, I Am Your Father. A&W is a sneaky girl and live in studio tonight. We have Steve Mozakis, who plays Van Gogh. Stick around, we're talking to him. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Rocking out with Steve. Mmm. <laughs> I feel like I had a grunt during Ross. Mmm. Mm. Uh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, candy. I like when you get into it. Very nice. Uh -oh. I'll start doing a Mick Jagger impersonation. All right, do it. There, you're on right now. There it is, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to After Buzz TV. Tonight we are of course are talking. I did not plan that. We want improv you know tonight, I did, Steve. You know I did not plan that. We of course are talking. I actually just did that. We are talking <laughs> Prison Break, episode eight, live in studio. Of course we have Van Gogh. Yep. Steve, your character was doing it tonight. But before I get into that, yeah. Hey, how come your ear is actually there and not in? Wow. It, it, it grows back, apparently. <laughs> it grows back? Yeah, it grows back. And I want to get into that, but let's uh, do our shout outs real quick. My name, of course, is Daniel Lingren. You can follow me at the Dan Lingren on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do it real quick and then Come get. On. I want to talk about oh, the ear. Oh, oh, oh. I'm MJ. Oh, I'm you can ear. follow me on Instagram at MJ, that media girl, girl, what are you? I could skip over them tonight if you guys want. We don't have to do the intros. Oh, listen, don't kill our vibe. We're over here laughing. I didn't even catch it. Like, <sighs> okay. man. Hey, guys, what's going on? As you can see, we're having a good time tonight with our mm. special guest in studio. It's me, Miss Candy Marie, and you can find me on Instagram at Miss Candy Marie and on Twitter at Sweet Candor TV. And uh, my, name's, right. my name's Steve Mazakis, uh, and it's at Steve Mazakis uh, on Twitter and Instagram if you're into that kind of thing. Are you Steve? Are you, are Steve, are you not into Instagram and Twitter? Oh, well, I, I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I'm, yeah. I, I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I mean, it's kind of... I love it, okay? I love it. Come and follow me, please. There it is. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, now, Steve, in episode one, when I was watching, I did notice that your ear was messed up. I was like, why is this dude's ear jacked <clears> up? But we didn't find out that your name was Van Gogh until many episodes uh, oh, is later. that right? Yeah, I, I don't believe we... Yeah, because no one actually says, hey, Van Gogh. <laughs> Nobody. Tonight, tonight, they said Van. The, that's A &W right. A&W yeah. said Van right. to you tonight. And, uh, and um, uh, Jacob calls me Van. Is there a backstory yes. to the ear thing? Did they ever discuss or there, tell you what the hell happened to your ear? There is. There is actually a backstory, and... Uh, uh, for some reason, I mean, it, I actually don't believe that we shot the scenes where we discussed it. Okay. Uh, and I don't know that it's, I don't, I, I don't know that I'd be giving anything away if I told you. Okay. Um, right. But it's, uh, it, it's like a, a symbol of our uh, dedication and loyalty to Poseidon. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, because I saw that Marina had it on her ear as well. A and W has the same thing on her ear. She does. Right. Okay. She's got the, but for hers doesn't look as bad as mine. Yours is jacked so up. Yeah, mine's really messed up. <laughs> did they now? How did makeup work with that? Did they just make a bigger ear and then cut out it? Because they didn't obviously cut they make your, your ear. They make your a mold. They make molds of your ear. <laughs> um, and so there's many, many molds of your ear. And then what they do is they fold your ear back. Uh, yeah. So you fold. You fold this bit right, right back, mm -hmm. and this oh. other fake ear goes over the top. You had to have your ear folded the whole entire time you're shooting. That's right. Yeah. That's, is that feel weird. Yeah. Is it uncomfortable? That's what no, I'm no, not really. Actually, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, uh, look, compared to doing uh, <laughs> like rolling away. some years ago, I did a film called I Frankenstein where I I transform into a demon, and I had to do full head, which was like four hours, and that got really full on. But you, you had a mask to play bad with. Roles. No, <laughs> if you need someone really messed up looking, I got you. Know, you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> they call you in. They call <laughs> you in. I'm the guy. They go, yeah, that. But uh, no, uh, and we didn't get too much information, to, to be honest, at the start. But I kind of liked it. I thought the ear is deformed. Something's wrong. There's some sort of pain there, and mm -hmm. I don't know some some kind of suffering. There's some backstory. So I liked that. I, uh, Without even knowing too much about it, I was like, "Cool, I got a really messed up ear." Yeah. Um, and playing this character, I think this is the most we've seen from your character. <laughs> in, in all the, no, I'm serious. In all the episodes, you had a, a lot of influential lines. You had a lot of you were starting to think more. I mean, we've right. seen a little bit of thinking, but well, not to yeah. this degree. 
you never you're really could, like screw yeah. screw twenty one void is what you're saying. Yeah, right. that's right. All our predictions were right that you were finally gonna tell A W that you were done. But she right. thought A W was gonna kill you. Yeah, but we still, I still got time. Do. Yeah, we still uh, yeah. got time. Steve, you're kind of you're kind of sitting next to your enemy right now. She believes your character's gonna get killed by A and W. Uh, okay, you know what? Does that happen in the episode? Can I respond to Dan on this one? You know what? Dan always has a way to say some things like that, like this that are sketchy when I'm sitting next to the killer. You know what I'm saying? Like last time when Marina was next to me, I had to wash my back, and I hope I don't have to wash my back this time. Dan, it's not really Van Gogh. It's okay. It's 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 Steve. I'm reformed. I'm much much better now. That's what they all say. MJ, you got my back, girl. I got you. you got I my got you. back. Yeah, you guys, you guys are all right. Don't worry, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Steve. Well, You'd be, you be right. You'd be right. Uh, um, but no, I mean, what happened? There were things that we shot uh, early on yeah. um, that didn't didn't make it or had been sort of minimized, and it wasn't a situation. Well, I think it was um, Vaughn who came up to us and said. You know, guys, uh, it's it's not to do with you. You know, like your work, and because we love your work, and blah blah. But to like pull back on the characters so they're a little bit more mysterious, mm -hmm. so we don't actually find out too much about them too early. Very mm -hmm. interesting. Um, so yeah, that's kind of part of the the strategy of the show, I yeah. guess. Uh, so now it's all coming to a head. So whatever it is, it's all <laughs> it's it's all out. Now, Steve, you watched the episode with us tonight, which was great. You were, was you were out there watching it with us, and you even said you uh, you stopped us watching it at one point. You're like, oh my god, it's so awesome to see how that scene comes together. <laughs> I, I had no idea what I was doing when I was shooting it. No, well, no. <laughs> hey, come on, man. I, 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 I know, he got to get a job. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I just mean you, you weren't told exactly what was going on in each scene, right? Uh, no, no, you do. I mean, you have the script, but, yeah. you know, again, you're reading the script, and it's... It's all these action sequences in, intercut with each other. But when right. it comes to the day to shoot them, you know they're all being fragmented into little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. So seeing it all come together, which was uh, handled beautifully, I should say, by Nelson um, uh, McCormick, our uh, our director for that episode and the finale, um, and also a producer. I mean, he just put that together beautifully because it made great sense and it yeah. was actually really enjoyable for me to see it cut together because yeah. I was like oh yeah that actually worked <laughs> <laughs> Miss Candy um, well you know I'm just taking in the fact that we have Van Gogh sitting next to us right now so many questions so many things to talk about uh, let's let's start with the beginning of the, the of episode. this week's episode first. sure the backstory of uh, we get the professor Ness and like we see, we see like they're back uh, like six mm. years ago, and them talking. Mm. That right. was pretty interesting. Oh we, my gosh. That's the first time we ever seen uh, them in a scene together. together yeah. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Yeah. With one, <laughs> with one week left. With one right. week I'm, left. I'm just wondering, you know, I we, we didn't know Jacob was a professor, right? Or did we? There are a lot of things that we don't know about Jacob that we're finding out about Jacob. And I thought that was really interesting that uh, they made him a professor. I'm the pretty writers. sure. Don't they refer to Ithaca University at some point? <laughs> I know they're in Ithaca, but I'm not. I don't recall. Yeah, they, I don't recall them rec you saying anything about the university. Just Ithaca, New York. Just naming the location. Mm. I remember them talking some about his job, but I don't remember them just like going in detail. Because I remember he'll be going to meetings and they'll be talking about stuff or whatever. But I, I didn't notice he, did. he was a professor. Right. Okay. What I did think was pretty cool, though, was uh, you know just seeing the similarities between Little Mike and Big Mike. Sure, mm. yeah. I thought that that was really really cool. Um, the drawings, you know, how he's starting, how he can put things into code, and it's just like like literally like it's just interesting how how strong DNA is. Mm -hmm. And speaking of DNA, we've seen a lot of people in this episode that have strong DNA, right. and that uh, are like father like son. But I'm pretty sure we'll get into that a little later. I didn't know you like that DNA was that strong. I mean, am I? It is. I didn't know. I didn't know you. I Absolutely. Mean, I, I, know you. I see sequel, uh, Prison Break. You know, oh. spinoff. Oh, with uh, starring Mike. Little Mike. Little Mike. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, hey, look. Are they going to... have you? you so you've been asked for the sequels? <laughs> Steve, are you giving away I'm, some I'm information? I'm giving away nothing. I'm just telling you what an opportunity. We have to What an opportunity for, you know... So Mike, Vaughn, Michael so Vaughn came up to you, the executive producer, and said, Steve, I want you for the sequel. <laughs> he did no such thing. He did no such thing. I was excited to see that they brought, like, a Brutzi back in a way, because Brutzi dies in, you know, like, season two, I think. Yeah, that uh, was cool. Prison Break. It was cool they brought his son in, so you're kind of seeing mm. the, the family tree. But we're seeing the family tree a lot in this whole yeah. thing, because yeah. we see, yeah. now yeah. we find out the truth about David Martin, which is, which, is, which is really cool, too. But that's interesting, though, because David Martin, then Theodore Bagwell... 
he took his mother's last name possibly mm-hmm. did we i didn't even i'm trying to i guess yeah. so i mean it makes sense just how how uh tea bags explained to, to us what happened you know about in 1991 and he told us a storyline so i think to me it, it would make sense that the mother would would give a uh, whip her last name and not the dad's because technically was it ever really stated that tea bag was the dad I up mean, until now mm-hmm. yeah and then her knowing the type of person he is, Ex- why would she, she want to associate? She didn't, yeah, she wouldn't never told him anyway. Are exactly. we going to find out more about their relationship? We have like, to. Like, we they, have we to. We have to. Find they better, out. right? They right. better we talk about. I, I, I have a feeling episode nine is going to have a lot of Bagwell, Theodore Bagwell, in it because we haven't seen him like really for the and past Sucre two episodes. And Sucre came back. But how good was yeah. that scene? You know, Robert Nepo. I mean, I. He's phenomenal. We can't say enough good things. You can't. No one can. And he's such a a, a, a lovely, lovely human being. Yeah. He is just absolutely the best guy. And to watch uh, him and uh, and Augustus Pru Augie play that scene was just. I, I was. I got emotional. You did. I don't, I don't know if that's because I just because I know them, mm-hmm. yeah. but it was beautiful to watch, and I was really glad to see it. Because you can read it, but you know you go, oh, it's yeah. Something but different it's about something else it. about watching it. And yeah. I think there's there's more of those scenes to come. Mm, so he's giving so us a little watching. insight. So giving us a little watching. insight. Now, um, <laughs> we've had a lot of questions about you and A and W. I know, especially I have. Don't ask me what, what, what her name stands for, please. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know. But we do know her name. Her real name is Emily. That's one thing That's that we right, yeah. that we do know. Now, t- tell us a little more <clears> about Van Gogh. You know, what are some of the things uh, that you know, as viewers that we don't know that you know more about the character that uh, hasn't necessarily been revealed? Well, I think it got just slightly revealed this episode, but uh, there was uh, talking, there there was stuff that we had shot earlier about what had brought me into 21 Void Mm -hmm. and uh, with Poseidon, and that was the killing of Harlan Gaines. I don't know how, whether you guys were able to pick up on that in that meeting. Yes, I remember that. So there's the killing of Harlan Gaines, who uh, was my mentor, and okay. uh, a, a kind of father figure to me at the CIA, and I would been I've been led to believe that uh, Michael Schofield or Kenyel Aldis is the person that killed him, uh, mm. and so that's what's brought me into Twenty One Void, and that's my motivation for going after him. Right. Uh, having said that, uh, it, it seems like uh, Van Gogh's kind of experiencing something of an awakening. Yeah. Um, from it's been coming slowly through and it's it's hard to play that because uh, I was hoping when we started shooting because the other thing is we don't actually see the episodes we don't know <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen in episode 6 all I know is what happens what you're in doing the next, in, that, in your scene in this episode and well you sometimes can, the, the following one Mm-hmm. I'm okay. not that far okay. ahead. Now you yeah. can ask. Sure, <laughs> you can go, and, and no one, and no one's going to say we're not telling you. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, I, I kind of went. All right, cool. And then you get the next episode, <laughs> and you go. Right. Oh my God! You know this happens now. Well, I can t- I can tell you one of the things that we've gained over time by watching all the episodes is compassion. Because from the very beginning, you know, when we're introduced to uh, yourself and A and W's character, you know, we're led to believe that you guys are the antagonists, that you guys are the bad guys. But you know, after talking to Marina and then also just you know watching, watching. the season as it goes on, we've Y'all noticed really that you, you guys have pure hearts. Exactly, you've been misled. You've been given this wrong information from Jacob. You know what I'm saying? And now the pu- pieces. Of the puzzle are starting more, to come more, more together. Pure. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> more pure than oh, really? Yeah. yeah, she's pretty tough. Marina. Yeah, I think she's so. I, mean, tough. I think so. A and W, man, she's like she's ice cold. I mean, but she still <laughs> thinks she's doing it for the right reasons, and that's yeah. why she's so focused on the mission. So, with that being said, when you find out that you've been led astray and you've been lied to. How is Van Gogh gonna come back? <clears throat> like, what, like, how? What, what should we expect yeah, from his? Yeah, tell character? us what happens in the, the next episode. <laughs> is pretty much what I seriously can't do that. I wouldn't want to spoil it for you. Of um, course not. Uh, but, I'm gonna uh, watch it anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, MJ promised. MJ promised yes. you should watch it anyway. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Me I've too. Seen, MJ, I've signed contracts. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, the thing that, I, I, because I had seen Prison Break. Obviously, I was a big fan. Back, back 10 years ago yeah. I'd definitely seen one and two seasons one and two and had seen and then when I got the job I started watching bits of three and four I mean they're 22 episodes it's a lot uh, they're, they're huge and had this season been 22 episodes I'm sure a lot of all the different characters we would have found out more about them along yeah. the way 
all those storylines would have been explored. But the one thing that struck me more than anything is there's a real kind of duality ab about Prison Break, you know, and it's no more evident in this season, but it's in all the seasons, which is everybody has uh, good and everybody has bad, you know. Uh, yeah. Michael Schofield is the guy trying to, the hero trying to save his brother, but he's also a person who's robbing a bank to go to jail. You know, there's mm -hmm. always the, the flip side of everything. Yeah. Uh, so that's how I was thinking about Van Gogh as well, which is I know structurally he's the bad guy, um, but you, it's not really a good idea to go into something playing a bad guy. Uh, you got to know why, why you're there doing what, it. What's your motivation yeah. for being so bad? Right, right, yeah. right. I just think A&W, she is, like you said, you think she's more evil or bad than you, right? I don't think, I think, just, she, I think she's more... Uh, passionate? Uh, well, she drank the Kool Aid. I mean, she she's really drinking drank that Kool Aid. The Kool -Aid. <laughs> she doubled up on it. And you know, you know why she drank that? You know, you know <laughs> how I know she drank the Kool Aid is the fact that she was pretending to be Sarah. How long was she sitting in that room? Or, Creepy. You know, days and days. Who knows how long she was, I was planning there. I, this out? I saw that. That was straight out of that was straight out of creepy. Psycho. That's next right. level. I knew it wasn't Sarah. I knew it wasn't right, Sarah. Right. That was straight out. Of I think psycho. we all. I, I thought it, it was like Sarah knocked out or something and no, she went unconscious or something. But you know, who knows? But yeah, Sarah wasn't there. And why would he leave the door open? Right, exactly. I knew it wasn't Sarah. Now, looking at the live mm, chat, because mm. our live chat is going crazy, and we want to thank all of our viewers for always tuning in every week. Our live chatters say, spoil it. Tell us what's going on. They <laughs> <laughs> oh. said, yes, please. We want to know. Easier said than done, right, Steve? Is Absolutely. Kellerman dead? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Get straight to the point. I, I have permission to, I, I'm pretty sure I have permission to say that Kellerman is dead. Oh. You, you took oh. him You really killed him. <laughs> You killed him. Really, Van Gogh? When, when I saw... Uh, I, pulled, so he, he's dead for real. For I'm getting a, the trigger. Don't hate on me, all right? I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following orders. We um, like Kellerman. But I was a huge fan of Kellerman's, and when I read that in episode four, I was like, oh... <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to die so early. Yeah, and then I... Well, it, neither was I. I didn't expect that. <laughs> and I thought, oh, my God. And then I was like... What an amazing scene, but also a great privilege for me. And I said it to him on the he's day. A big, said, he's a big character on the show, like, and you're taking wow, him out. I'm a, I'm a big fan. So, I want to okay. give you all the I want to give you all the respect in this that I can possibly. It's a script. It's I'm going to respectfully script. kill you. Oh, is no, what he's saying. Yeah, but you know, it was a great it was a great scene to do with him. And he, yeah. Paul Adelstein is you know such a I great am actor. I'm honored to be your murderer. Exactly. <laughs> no, true. True. Right. That's what it was. And it was then respect. I called I called my wife and I said, Chris, I guess guess what? You know, I, I, you know, I'm killing Kellerman. And she said. Why would you tell me that? And I said, <laughs> you just ruined the episode. Yeah, just ruined, yeah basically, she just ruined it. I want to watch it. And I was like, oh, ah, but yeah. yeah. I have to tell someone. <laughs> I want to get into uh, T-Bag's note that he gets from Michael. And it's a long, it's a, it's a whole page. And mm. we just see that final line, which is uh, something along the lines of take a, take a life or something. Do you ladies remember what it said on that final line? Or I Steve? Don't remember. It didn't make sense. I was confused. They like take a life, and I was like, "Oh, so he's gonna go." So I thought, "Oh, he's gonna go kill." Yeah, Whip. I, yeah. I, thought I was, was confused, but then first. I was like, "But then obviously it's not even close yeah, how it happened." Yeah, he started telling his story, talking to the Lord and stuff. So I was. But I was just like, wondering if you guys think we're gonna find out what else was written on that know. note. Maybe that's more of their backstory. But I don't. I don't did Teabag know that he had a kid or no? I don't think he did. It seemed to me that. It seemed to me that you know he knew that. I don't know. It, it's it's right. It, it felt know. like I have no idea that there was this kid that existed. Really? It seemed to me watching the scene. <laughs> it's so but ironic. I, I don't know. It feels it's to so me like ironic. he does not know until he gets that letter right. that he has a kid because yeah, he's he, right. he made that emotional recording. Beautiful. It was beautiful. beautiful. beautifully done, beautiful. of course. So now let's go to Whip now. That's out in the Lake Michigan, and he's he's pulling up that jar. We were talking about this earlier. Let's. What the it hell was blood. it? Was there blood in the jar? I think it was blood to get a DNA test. You That's think so? I think so. I don't know. I well, could be well, wrong. There looked like there was something in the blood. Like, like he, it did look like that. He pulled, and it looked like there was like some glass or something. And I, I thought it was sand. You. Maybe there's wrong. some type of evidence that's but in DNA. that jar. Exactly. That's going to show everybody uh, that he wasn't the one that killed your mentor. Oh. And when you find out that he wasn't the oh, one, that's a good one. Dun dun dun. 
<laughs> that was you, a should good be, you should be writing because network before, television. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because you heard it here first. Coming Katie. soon. Katie Coming should soon. be writing. <laughs> P- PB Writers Room. There you go. Hey, I've got that, a bright career ahead of me. <laughs> that, that's, a good, that's a good one. But yeah, uh, tweet in if you can tell us what the hell was in that jar. We'd love to get some more opinions on it. Uh, Michael told him, was like, you're going to find out why you're my whip man. Well, exactly. you whip hand, yeah. yeah. Exactly. He does. Cool. It was really good. Yeah. It was really, really cool to see them both uh, choking each other, too. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I was <laughs> wondering if, if he was going to choke him with his fake hand. I was like, is he going to pull a fake hand out? Because if he does, it's over for you, Whip. Right, because yeah. it's the strong new fake hand. Exactly. It's exactly. like the wooden fake hand. Exactly. <laughs> I, like, I like when Whip said, nobody calls me that. Meaning wow. nobody, but then nobody. also meaning nobody, which is Kenny Loudis, which is Michael Schofield. No one. Yeah. Wow. I thought that was really but fun. But I don't still understand why he... Bought him a hand. I mean, why? He, yeah, why he? Bought we don't. Him I hand? don't think we know yet. We still don't know why Michael or someone well, bought tea tea bag. Well, I, I feel the like hand. I kind of know. I feel like okay. it, it goes back to it's kind of like a, a way to apologize because if you remember the, the way he lost his hand to begin with, he had he he handcuffed his hand to Michael. Right. So and he, then yeah, exactly. A no took the choice. hand off. Exactly. Yeah. So he said. I'm just gonna chop it up because I like he wasn't that. supposed to be with them anyway. So I feel like it's kind of like redemption. Like you know, this plus is me he knew, plus, apologizing for taking your hand. Plus so. he had Whip with him for seven or four years, whatever it was. You know, that's Teabag's son. So in a way, you're right. He is like apologizing. Like, hey, you know, yeah, like, redemption. It is. I like mm-hmm. that. That's I don't very know. nice. You Brought him his son back, but also knows that Whip, being the son of someone like Teabag, is very resourceful and very resilient. Mm-hmm. Um, who better to go to jail with exactly. in the Middle East. Yes, it's just, I feel like this the season's like Theodore Bagwell's redemption. It's just so crazy. They're really trying to think, make him, really like Candy said, changed. they're trying to make him good now. Exactly. I really think he has changed. Today, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, he he's found it, he the Lord. He said it today. He said it in the He's, he's so absolutely. religious, right? Yeah. He's, he's found the Lord. And if you think about yeah. it, in, you know, in biblical times, a lot of the, the disciples were sinners. You know, they change your life around, you know, and they became a good person. So I feel like that's kind of playing into his character. In my yeah, I really, I really do think he a better person. What did you all think about how uh, the cranes were put down into the drain, right? That he was hiding all those notes exactly. from Sarah In all those years? Place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what's more interesting is that he noticed it. Right. You know, like he like his attention to detail is insane. And for him to go from from being inside that mailbox to looking down, like what would lead him to do that? Only Michael. It Only just, Michael's it felt mind like, would think like that. It felt like that scene from The Notebook where the mom hides the letters from Rachel McAdams' character. <laughs> That's what it hit me. You don't remember that? Only you, Dan. <laughs> no one else thought that? Hey, no, no, Dan. Yeah, yeah. No, Dan. No, not yeah. no, apparently, Dan. Apparently we don't have any notebook fans in here besides <laughs> me. You know, we're, we're, we, all cr- we all saw it. We cried, you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving us a play on The Notebook. Go for it, Steve. What, how else do you feel with The Notebook? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not. Steve, gonna, if I'm a bird, you're a bird. All right, <laughs> I'll be a bird if you're a bird, no, Steve. Let's, uh, and if, let's let's carry this conversation on in a pier when it's raining, and then you know. Oh, Steve. Uh, Steve. <laughs> so, you, but you are married, Steve, and I'm straight, so none of this is gonna work out, that's Steve. That's true. I know. Well, oh, moving on. What, Can we go to some of the questions from what the? Uh, what could have been? Are there any fun questions from the audience that's uh, watching right uh, now? Let's Anything see. Good? And while we're looking for questions mm. from the audience, I have a question for you. I would love to hear that, Dan. Um, yes. Thank you. Oh uh, <laughs> Dan, thanks. Um, what I want to know is, is you know, was there ever a point where you questioned Jacob and his, uh, you know, you know, I guess his loyalty or his, his the truthfulness of the story that he is. He has fed you. I Have you ever questioned well, him? Besides he, tonight, right? Say, exactly. Tonight. Like prior at, at prior all. to tonight, I. I, I uh, Wasn't no, there like an episode two, two episodes ago where you said something to A and W, like you kind of wanted out or something like that? You were like, "What are we doing now? Like, what uh, is this?" You said I, you had like one said, line. She said, "You know, uh, you know, Twenty One Void. You know, we don't ask questions." And I said, "Well, maybe we should." There you see. That's it. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, so cool, there's, a, there's a beginning, there's little, it's starting to trickle through. Mm-hmm. Uh, but particularly now, this, I mean, I kind of go, wow, I didn't know who he was, really? I, I, and I didn't, I didn't know how he was connected to this. I mean, that is just a huge, 
you know, uh, blow. As far that. as I could see, I was like, oh my, at the time, just thinking, what? But how can you trust someone that you don't even know? And that's what that's what I've been thinking this whole time about you and uh, A&W's character. You guys really trust this man that you're willing to go and you're murdering people and you're killing people and like you're so focused on the mission. And I understand that there are certain things, like for example, he killed your mentor and and A&W thinks that she's doing it for the greater good. But how is it possible that you guys are so trusting in this one man that you don't even know? I mean, how? Look, the, the thing, thing is, why we trust in the CIA. Well, that's what we want. I think that's it's what, his title. It's, it's <laughs> Jacob's title. Okay. That's what we are. That's a good point. That's what we are. Um, I mean, the fact that we're missing ears uh, for this man uh, is pretty extreme. And he is an extremist uh, mm -hmm. of, of which I've bought into. Um, I I mean, I, it's, it's crazy. And the, the thing was, to be honest, I didn't know, we didn't know who Poseidon was when we started shooting. Uh, okay. Mm. Well, right, because you're not getting the scripts that far in advance. You said you only get one or no. two. Right? And so I didn't know. And so uh, we find out when pretty much the audience finds out. And, me, and Marina and I were just like, did you read this? <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> and because we had met Mark, you know, and I thought, that's brilliant. Yeah. I didn't pick Mark. <laughs> Who did you pick? I, I, I was trying to think. I was thinking, I wonder who Poseidon is. And I just couldn't. Uh, right. I thought, well, we haven't met him yet. Okay. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. And then when I found out, I was like, that is genius. Because Mark is such a, um, he's such, he's such a great guy. He's yeah. very funny. And he's kind of unassuming. And in a way, you would just never pick him for being that guy. Um, so I, I just thought that was brilliant. And it's been very, it's been brilliant to watch that play out. Yeah, and also to see uh, how smart he is going up against he Michael. He is. Schofield. It's like they tick for so tick. Yeah, like they're like he been studying Michael, That's and right. Michael knows he pays attention to everything exactly. he does. And then I like the way they played it, where they showed the picture where it's been photoshopped and Michael supposedly killed the guy, and you could see Poseidon like like getting a little nervous because he was talking oh, about yeah. it's been photoshopped they're gonna do all this to the picture and stuff like this that this game is incredible to watch <laughs> right. the way that it's unfolding on both sides it's like one person is like they're a step ahead of each other yeah. at different times and it's really really cool to see the game go back and forth um i thought it was fantastic just sorry to interrupt but no. i thought it was fantastic in that that whole sequence out on the street with the boom, cars boom, 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 yeah. how was everybody crazy. was off balance yeah right. you know michael was off balance and you know uh jacob <laughs> was in the car going you know what are you doing you know what are you doing here and she yeah. was like uh well my phone went dead and everyone was off but no everybody. one knew what was going on it's yeah. a tennis match and they are serving yeah. volleys back uh, yeah. and forth and no one they're all trying to outthink each that other was so great. i thought that was so well done but jacob played it so good with the scratches and the picture in the in the trunk or whatever because he led them to the house knowing aw was gonna be there oh there was so smart. Yes. Because yes. he know Michael. Like, it's so hard. Like, He's who's going to beat who? It's like Michael's finally met his match. Yes. Right. Poseidon and, and Jacob his knows he has to get to his family, though. Even so with he the has drawing. The... Speaking of getting to his family, even with the drawing, with him recreating oh, yeah. that drawing, and Michael just knew that it was little. You Michael, and I knew, Michael... Candy. We stared at each other like, that's not going to be. Yes. Yeah, so, that's yeah. not going to be. We knew. Drawing. We knew that. We but but, but like, Michael. Too, like, it's too. too, too <laughs> What too, too nice? But the only but the only reason we knew <laughs> was because of that scene perfect. before of Mike showing Jacob the thing, exactly. and obviously Mike Senior didn't go, know well, that. Yeah, he's clearly capable of something like that. Right. So why not? Why not? But it's the first time we ever saw Michael's character extremely vulnerable. You know, I feel like just like this is his son. Like this is probably the most vulnerable we've yeah. ever seen his character. How proud was Michael when he saw the drawing that his son did? He's like, he's good. The yeah. way he like got elated <laughs> yeah. about that was That's so my fun. Boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I realized watching the episode tonight, I, I, I'm sure Vaughn or you guys have heard about the, uh, the overarching, the, the structure of the story being um, uh, Homer's Odyssey. The Odyssey, yeah. Yeah, the Odyssey. So uh, the, I think the question, the overarching question is, can a man come home, you know? Mm. You know, and how, 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 how does a man come home? And that's, what's, that's, what's, you know, that's what this is about. And that's what we find out next week, whether he can oh, or not. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and we need to find out what I about Elvis. Doing, I should be doing the trailers for the show. Steve, do you the trailer. Get, get real close is... to the mic and do your movie trailer. Here we go. Prison break. 
No way. <laughs> that was a good start. Yeah. Nine eight central. Next week, can a man come home? Exactly. You sound like, you sound like the scary man from Scream. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my trailer voice. That was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, while you guys are practicing these trailer voices, because I'm pretty sure Dan probably wants up next. I won't. But go, I won't um, go. while you guys are practicing these trailer voices, again, the live chat is going crazy. They've there are a few things that they're saying. Um, do do do. Hyper t- Tamu, see, he says. So is anyone else upset over the fact that Mikey's brain tumor and bloody nose is just up and vanished? He had this surgery. By the the company gave him surgery back in the past. <laughs> to fix it? To fix it. Yeah, yeah. that was season four. I'm trying right, to think yeah, back. All right, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, next thing, Ivan is going crazy in here, saying that he's pissed off. Oh, no. Hey, hey. <laughs> not at Steve, right? No, hey, not hey, at hey, Steve. Hey, but hey, I, yeah. Ivan Ivan is someone that comes and he, he participates every single week. He's pissed. Good on you, Ivan. <laughs> huh? I said good on you. Yes, uh, yes. Thanks and for he, watching. He's pissed off because they're saying that they're they're making Michael's character look, you know, um, vulnerable, and he's he's mad that he he got outsmarted, and he's pissed off at that. So are we going to see Michael redeem himself? I think next I think episode? we needed that yeah, in this episode, so he can outsmart him next episode. I like the vulnerability. Yeah, I think I think it humanizes him, right? And it makes it raises the stakes. Mm-hmm. I mean, if we, it's like Superman. You if know, he's, he's got to have good, right. If it's got to have the kryptonite, something's got to be uh, able to get to him. And it's uh, in this case, it's the whole thing is his family. Yeah, his family like is kryptonite. This season, it is what it is. Michael being more vulnerable than any other season. Like his brother had yeah. to step up this season versus Michael was always saving him, saving him with the plan and everything like that. And this time. It was to the brother. He really stepped up this season. Well, you got to think though. And in, in, in season one, he was just trying to free his brother. That's yeah. it. In this season, he's got like four or five people he's trying to make sure <laughs> nothing happens to. But what I, what I love about it, both in terms of performance from uh, Wentworth uh, and Link uh, and um, uh, Michael Dominic Dominic Purcell. Purcell. Oh. Yeah, but from all the actors, you know, it's seven years down the down the track in real life, mm-hmm. and from Paul Sherry, the creator. This is an older. Smarter, wiser, more mature world with more. Uh, I, I think it's got more soul than. Uh, I mean, I, th- I saw the first episode and thought, well, this is like a film. I mean, it's filmic right. in its right. kind of depth. Mm-hmm. You know, it the does. work from everyone has just been, I, I reckon, of a very, very high standard. So uh, that's, I think that's part of it, you know, in terms of the vulnerability and, and, and the sense of family and loss, you know, because earlier in those seasons, I think, uh, you know, he didn't really have a. There wasn't. There was. There was stuff to lose. Attachment. But now there's even more. There's to just lose so yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. There's so yeah. much more for him to the lose. The stakes are much, much higher. Yes. Yeah. And speaking of, of losing, um, somebody got shot uh, at the hmm. end of this episode. We see blood splat, splats and yeah, what's going on? Is it Lincoln? Kaboom. We have people go- coming yeah. after Lincoln's character. Like what's going on? Oh, that was what I wanted Boom. to talk about. Oh, when the wa- uh, Lincoln this splatter. Splatter. That's yeah. in the, inside the house. But Lincoln in the car. Like I, I jokingly was saying that he's dead. He's dead because. You know, you, you don't think he is, MJ. You shout out, he's naughty. You're yelling at me across the table. He's not naughty. But, he's not and, dead. And I know that, too, as a viewer. But in real life, the guy was point... Luca, but Abruzzi's son, was point-blank range on this dude. We did see it hit his head. How does, he, how does Luca miss, though? He's, a, he's a, probably a marksman. He's a, this is his job. I mean, how did he miss him? could have been... Steve, a, you don't how did he miss him, he though? I know finger. he's alive. <laughs> how the hell did he miss him? But well, he, he got hit in the chest, yeah. though. He did well, duck eventually, but boom, there was boom, boom, some two, blood. Three, so I, I think he got he got something in the arm. Yeah, he had to get hit once. He had to get hit at least once, but he got down pretty quick. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he got down pretty quick. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But on next week's episode, on the preview, <laughs> <laughs> he got down quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Steve, Steve knows. <laughs> Steve knows it's I'm sorry. <laughs> on the previews, it looked like he got shot in the chest, but I think he's gonna survive. Of course, I mean, I, we all, I don't think yeah. any of us think that Lincoln's going to die. I think that'd be a... Cr- I feel a like way. Lil Mike got Can shot. He? What? You were about to say something that you think? You know what? What I'm thinking, to be honest with you... <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I, know, I know what's coming. This you, is very do funny. Do you know? Are you sure? <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I, I, shot I, 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 I don't, I don't think it's what nine. you think. Well, oh. I, I was going to simply say, what if what if it was C-Note that got shot? Because even though they told C-Note to stay away... He's great. He... You know, where, where like, was he in, though? But okay, listen, this is the thing. So basically, the last thing we see of Cino is they tell Cino you could be a liability to him and his family. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? So, when have we ever um, seen his character? They tell him that he can't do something, and then he didn't step up and do it anyway. So where do you think he got shot in the house or not in the? I don't know. The car is Lincoln. Like the car what, is definitely what if, Lincoln. What if? What if? 
that was the blood splat from him. I don't know. For, I don't know, guys. Got, no, I don't know. No, no. I don't know. It's Are just, it's he's just in a the prediction. House? Yeah, she's no, saying he's in the house. I think. Maybe he's outside the house. Maybe. I don't know. I just feel like. The blood spatter looked in the house, though, right? It looked at the high, the window he, he, above the, the door. door. Above the door. Up the door. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was on the outside of the house. How does it get that high? How, how, how did it angle up like that, Steve? What's that I, about? I felt like it was from the outside. Was it from the outside? That was just to get you to fake that, you know, somebody else. I thought it was inside, but who knows? Steve, inside, I outside. Clear, I think clearly it looks like it's from inside. Inside, yeah. yeah. Really. And clearly somebody got shot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Lil Mike. Steve's trying to get us away from Lil Mike. Lil Mike got shot. No, no. no. <laughs> what? On the previews, it didn't look like Michael was Steve already harm. told us that there's a spinoff with Mike um, Jr. and he's no, starring I, I, in it. No, he I did didn't not say that. that. I didn't say that. We are not confirming uh, that. Oh, I know. Now, I'm me, joking. Now, me and A, a and W in a prequel and a spin off. That would be fun. That'd be very cool. Like the company. Uh, no one's approaching. They would call it the company. But you guys, ha you guys have to hook up company. and get married. I don't know if I see you guys she, like that. I don't think she's. A, you know what? Never mind she's because she's it. not. She's into women. Here's here's it's the truth. Well, women. here's the best part is how, that how good was that scene? <laughs> <laughs> we I mentioned it on the show that I enjoyed that scene. The best part is is that she went from A and W killing you to you and A and W getting married. So Candy, yeah. it's a change of heart well, now. Well, this is great. There, there was a kind of thing at the end there. I said, you and me, we could, you know. But no. Well, I say that, don't I? We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> she's not. She's probably gonna put a bullet in you before she does that. See, she's no, because back. Because I clearly it. care about her. I, you know, yeah, I care you about did. her. You did. You you tried to get her out of. The yeah, I'm not just tonight. sitting there going, oh well, I'm out. See you see, later. Yeah, come good, with. You said come with luck. me. I we said, can. I we said, can disappear. Later. You don't want to do this. Right. You and don't want to do this. She's like, you know. You can't just leave 21. Oh. You guys haven't seen what's in that basement yet. I see, look at we have Van Gogh. Where's Elvis? Her. Yeah, what's up with Fat Elvis? Oh, yes. Elvis. How could, uh, Elvis, yeah. At Graceland. You were you, <laughs> such a, was such you, were, you were there with him. What happened? It was like such a fun day. Who is this guy? And I remember, <laughs> who is this Hey, who hey, is he? who is this guy? Who is this guy? Like I remember thinking, like are we going to see him again? We're going to kill him I, now. Right? We got to see we, him. We get it's like Pop, pop. I mean, you know, what happens? <laughs> pop, pop. <laughs> because word on the street is that Vaughn told us that we're going to see him again. So uh, in what he, capacity well, if, are we going to see Vaughn, him? If Vaughn says it, if yes. If Vaughn said that, then you know what? Damn it's it, true. it's happening. Who yeah. did, um, who did uh, Jacob call last episode that we still don't know about, right? Oh, yeah. What oh, about yeah. that call, huh? Because <laughs> that has to be so powerful. Mr. Mr. Missile Missile. Strike. Yeah. Well, we, we figured it was Fat Elvis, but we don't know yet. Now, mm. one thing that we do have to talk about is... We don't, what, we don't, he doesn't have a name He yet, really want to tell us, but he like, oh, I can't. Yeah, I'd love to, but I can't. He really wants to. What's up, Candy? What's well, can that? you give us a clue? About what? Which one? <laughs> because we won't tell anyone. Isn't about that right, what? viewers? No. Uh, about what? About who the guy is. Who, who the secret, who fat super Elvis powerful is. guy is. Oh, the missile guy? Yeah, yeah, missile guy. I can't say that. I don't, ha I don't have clearance. So are we, we going to find the out? Is it the president? Can, is can we find out? Are we going to find out who You heard what Poseidon called me. The hammer. I got no brains. I just said I'm that. Just I wrote that boom. down. I said, I said, you get to be the hammer tonight, boom. Steve. That's what, what, this guy, boom. That's all I Well, know. is the hammer going to come down on Van Gogh? Because <laughs> uh, we just saw when you were having that conversation with A&W, Jacob saw you. So is the hammer going to come down on you? It looked that way, didn't it? It looked that way. It doesn't yeah. look good for you. Because you're getting suspicious. Like, it, uh uh. He yeah. doesn't trust you. I don't think he trusts you. What's well, disappointing to Van Gogh is, is most likely I think your character might get shot next episode if we're going against uh, Jacob. I really think uh, you're going to get shot. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. I'll give. It's not a big <laughs> thing to give away, but. You know, I was looking at the. I was looking at last week's episode, and, you know, I, I seem to have a very pained expression on my face throughout a lot of it. And uh, <laughs> I was wondering about that. And then I remembered as I was watching this running scene, like, I did practically the whole series with a broken toe. Right? Oh, really? How? I was in How? so much That's pain. That's an interesting behind I was in so much pain during some of those scenes. It's when I'm walking and running in my, those boots. I was like, ah, ah. But it's great for the character. <laughs> Good. It works. <laughs> yeah, those are interesting boots they had you in, huh? Those aren't, are those made for running or? Um, does anyone care? No. Like, Run. <laughs> 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 Broken toe and all. Wardrobe, wardrobe just handed you the boots? No, like, I tried. I had no. I was wearing a boss suit, you know, nice, uh, you know, Italian leather boots. I picked them. Um, oh, that's awesome. Uh, Sona, our costume, I mean, she did an amazing job, and she was like, I got some great clothes for you. And I was like, oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much. Boss. Costume designer. Boss, yes. <laughs> oh, boss. <laughs> I, I mean boss. Any great questions that we can ask uh, mm. Steve from the, like, yes. any, like, random stuff they want to know about Steve <laughs> or anything Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. Live chatters, live chatters. Live Let's chatters want to know. 
Do, 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 do. There goes our live chatter music. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, we have to do the do 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 do. There you go, Steve. That's, <laughs> That's all we needed. Steve. That's music. all we needed. Um, you know what? There's a lot of commentary. Um, Let me ask you this, Steve. Is the tension with UNAW going to build even more in this in this last episode? Can you it's tell gonna, me that? It's, it's coming to a head. It's coming to a Is head. Is she going to tell Poseidon? Ooh. Mm. Yes, and, and that's I, how he dies, probably. I, I tell you, <laughs> in, in this in this last episode, everybody's loyalties will be tested. Mm. Yeah. Everybody's loyalties will be tested. Who's who and uh, who's for who. And, you know, how, how far everyone's prepared to go. I think it's pretty clear um, that on the other side, as far as um, Lincoln and Michael are concerned, you know, they're going to be there till the, you know, for each other till the end. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so, but on our side... <laughs> Oh, it's, it's going to get messy. Okay, what about Whip and Teabag? What's going to happen? Because we see the episode ending with Teabag screaming. Uh, you love so, that scene, yeah, good Steve. I love that. The because, only son he uh, ever had. Could he be taken away? No, oh, no. Well, I, I will tell you this. <laughs> the uh, suspense. <laughs> I do remember walking through the trailers there uh, up in Vancouver and uh, prior to us knowing, because we didn't know. No one had read episode nine, mm. right? Mm. And, uh, you know, it's sitting around going, Gonna die. You think you're gonna die? No, that's right. <laughs> <You're sitting laughs> and and everyone's in there going, I think I'm gonna die. And then everyone was like, No, nah, nah, I think nah. I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a like a fan question that you guys got to have as the characters of the show, which is so cool. Yeah. You sat around thinking who's because we're, we're all wondering that same thing next right, week. Right. Right. And then and we can do this in predictions tonight. You go we back to your trailer. The script's there, and you go, Oh my god, episode nine, and you start. You're like, it's where, you. Where's my bit? Where's my bit? <gasps> Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let's get into predictions. And I think what a fun yes. way to do predictions would be: Who do we think is going to die in this next episode? Who do we think? Because that is die? a huge question. It's <laughs> a big question. I've got a couple. Yeah. I think so. You're after Buzz TV. I'm so iffy about who's going to die. I'll start off, and I'm 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 sad to say this. I think Whip's going to die, and I think Van Gogh is going to die. And for different reasons, I think Whip's gonna die because in the pre in the preview for next week we see just that blood curdling no from uh, Teabag, and why else would he make that face unless something happened to Whip? And maybe he doesn't die. Maybe he just gets shot. Maybe something bad. But I think he's making that. I think Teabag's making that reaction because something happens to his son, who he just got reacquainted with. I mean, that's that's horrible. And then uh, Van Gogh because you're gonna go against. Jacob and maybe A and W doesn't like that, or maybe and how do you know I'm not going to end up. Uh, with I hope I hope you survive. I like your character. Me, I like you. Me and Michael, you know, that even, well, that's your prediction, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Me and Michael could, you know, and I and, fi- and finally meet and find some common ground. And I hope that's what no. happens, but I just don't see it. This, I this want that to happen. Cynical man, cynical. <laughs> You gotta believe in a nicer world. <laughs> well, I called last week with whatever happened. We said that it was gonna with uh, whipping uh, something was gonna happen very yeah. emotionally with whipping T back. We yeah. called yeah. that live on the air, so from last week's episode. So cool. Yeah. MJ predictions. Yes, I Steve, think- take over. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Steve. Sure. Take over. Sure. I think. I think. I don't know if Whip's gonna die, but I think some definitely is gonna happen to him. But I don't know if he's gonna die. I think Lincoln is not gonna die, of course. And <laughs> of who course. got shot? I really think Lil Mike might get shot. Oh I, my god! I mean, it's or, a, it's a, it's or a bold somebody prediction. was behind at AW nine, at 9 p.m. AW. on a Tuesday night shooting an eight-year-old. Wow. I MJ. mean, That's it nice. happens every day. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying. Steve is so uh, into it. It right would now. be good TV. It me. would be, yeah, it would, it would, it would be I mean, good TV. Someone be, got shot in that be room. It awful yeah, Fox got shot. Family TV. It would be horrible if that you, happened You know to him. what? I am sick and tired of Jacob. I just want him gone. Oh, I, I want him to be taken out. So I want him to die, and I want him to die a painful death. Man! <laughs> Man, how painful. In the final episode, painful. Describe I want my it. ear Describe. back. Yeah. I want his ear gone. Ear back, I want The first thing I want you to take off is his ear. Because Lop he, it off. Because he messed up your ear and A&W's ear. Mm-hmm. And then I want little Mike to kick him in the kneecap. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's for, a good hype for, for him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Call. For for taking his mom and putting his mom in the basement. What do you want Mike Senior to do? Yeah. And for taking sending his dad to Yeem and all these awful places. <laughs> and then I want Sarah... I want Sarah to be the one to take out uh, Jacob. Okay. I want Sarah because she's super badass, so I can't wait to see how her, how her character resurfaces. And what he's put her through. And she what just, he's put her right. through and how he's lied to her after all this time. And then I want Michael and Jacob to, I want them to fight as well. And I want that to be an awesome fight. And then I want 
Sheba Steve's and like, Lincoln. Yeah. She wants a lot of things, Steve. I want Sheba and Lincoln to get together and to live happily ever after. It looks like they, they had their, their first love. kiss finally. Lincoln yeah, always yeah. hooks up with the girl that's saving him. It never He's fails. Vulnerable. He needs, he to, needs to have he a woman. It's it. fine. Right. It is what he, it is. Steve, did you not? Into, you're shaking your head. Oh, no, no. I'm, oh, okay. no, I'm, I'm into it. Because yeah, no. oh, in okay. the previous right. seasons, he hooked up with the other girl to help them. You had an interesting reaction when they kissed, though. What was that? What was that reaction you gave Whoa. to us? I was like, what? Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, didn't I, was know, I, I didn't know how to read it. We had our headphones on. I was on. in shock. I, I, I was, yeah. I was like, wow. I was like, typical Lincoln. That's happening. Um, it was convenient too because they do mention that Sophia dies in this episode, or, or they break up. I'm so they sorry, they up. broke up. They, they make they it very clear so this kiss is more okay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which was yeah, we cool kinda... because he doesn't cheat on. He him. would never do that. It's Link. Hey, come on. Hey, it's hey, Link. come on. What, hey. are, what are we talking about? What are we? Animalic? Crazy thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy thoughts. <laughs> okay. Also, the people want to know: Are you Aussie or they said Kiwi? Oh, Kiwi. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm Australian. I'm I'm a, I'm Australian. Um, and uh, and the, the funny name is uh, Greek. My family's from Greece. Very cool. Um, wow. So, which has nothing to do with Prison Break and uh, the Odyssey and all that. Um, but yeah, That's okay. no, my family's from Greece. Yeah. You did. But we was totally surprised by the accent. I know. I was. Wow. You did oh, the accent. Really, you did a good I accent, right? I, I mean, that, thanks. Let man. me. Can I hear it like one more time? Just you. It's an American accent you were trying to do, right? Is that what you're going for? What do you mean trying to? Do? Oh, you were doing. <laughs> it. I don't know the rules. That was nothing but Van Gogh no, no, right but, there that I came mean, out. Uh, uh, like so I mean, you guys watching it felt okay about watching it. And we. And I definitely did not even you, consider you go, for a second you were. all about? You were an American. Well, that's good. I mean. I've I've done a lot of I've done American films and obviously I'm over here uh, working. Uh, my I mean the accent work we've grown we've grown up with the American accent and being here as well and hearing it a lot. Uh, but the main thing for me is uh, to be able to talk uh, in an American accent with uh, with my own voice, so it doesn't sound like uh, it's somebody else's voice. Mm. I mean it changes things. You I totally changed. switched it up on this right now. Yeah. No, isn't it awesome? <laughs> you totally yeah. just switched it uh, up on this. I try it out at Ralph's all the time. You know, just think, oh, you know, like... Oh, that's fun. Yeah, they wouldn't yeah, know. So I'm, when, you know, I'm going... I'm doing stuff and sort of just think, oh, well, I'll spend... I remember the first... the only, Actually, the only time I was asked, and it, it really helped, uh, was uh, I made a film many years ago uh, with Spike, <laughs> Spike, Spike Jones. Spike Jones, yeah. Called Where the Wild Things Are. And they wanted me at that time to speak in, a, in an American accent the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they wanted to improvise. And, you were and the teacher this. in that movie, right. correct? Yes. Right. So yeah. uh, I was there the whole time talking in the accent. After a while, you forget about it, and uh, it, it works. Hey, how long have you been living here in the United States? Uh, I, oh, I'm, you I'm, I'm coming in and out, depending okay. wherever the, the job, the, the next job is. I was is. just wondering if your accent used to be thicker, and now it's kind of, it's still there, I can hear it, but it's not as thick, possibly? Oh, or, mate, about six months ago. Oh, oh yeah, I baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sounded like that. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's not going to. It's, it's not going to change that much. I don't think. I don't think now it's it, it will change. I, no. I do know some Australians who've been here for a long time and they start, you know, rolling their. That's eyes what I'm wondering if that's what happens. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd, not to you. I'd clearly. be surprised. I'd be surprised if it. Did. I don't think it's no. Well, um, especially since you say you're you're spending time in both places. But sometimes it, it, I find myself in conversation sometimes saying things. Yeah. Well, when I go home to Boston and I, then I come back here, I kind of, I'll, I'll start being hey. like, oh, I do have like the Boston accent a little Boston. bit more. And I'm like, why am I talking yeah. like this? Oh, yeah, because all my family was for the whole week. Oh. But then I come back <laughs> into this and I'm not there anymore. Well, I go, I like when, 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 I, when, I, when, I, when I hang out with Australian actors here who've been here a long time and, you know, uh, he's, their girlfriends or whoever is uh, uh, American and stuff, and they kind of sound a little bit, you know, they've lost a, a little bit of the Australian right. accent, but when they hang out with me for half an hour, suddenly they're like, mate! Yes. <laughs> you know, and That's the it best. just comes back. You know? That's awesome, yeah. yeah. It certainly does. Mm. Um, are we out of time, Candy? Are you looking at your we, screen like you have something not, amazing here? I was looking at my here. screen just checking to see if they have any last minute questions, but it's more of just like, you know, Commentary. just thoughts. commentary and thoughts on what, what they what they think is going to happen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, because there wasn't any Sarah um, uh, Jacob not much in this episode, you know. Mm-hmm. So we didn't really see Sarah too much. Is she still in the basement? That's what I was going to ask. No, we saw the previews. I feel well, like. Well, of course not. In the previews, yeah, she's somewhere else. What, but. Of course, I thought leading up to this episode, you know, that's probably been the most interesting, you know, Where kind of story, she? like that domestic thing playing out, like who yeah. knows what, and right. I know, right. and you know, and you know that I know, and yeah. all that. <laughs> So that's coming. She's a, she's smart. <laughs> she's a badass. She's she's the best yeah. right I, now. I can't wait to see what happens. Maybe she's the one that pulled the trigger. I don't know. 
Oh, that's another great prediction, oh, Katie. I saw how you just looked away. Oh, so Van Gogh, why are you I, looking I, away, I, Van Gogh? I think you got Steve there. I got, I got, yeah, because there was a gunshot within the uh, house, and we keep asking about this blood splur. So I was know it nothing. from Sarah shooting a &W? Do we see any scenes with Jacob in the next uh, thing? We do. When he's not, because I was thinking Sarah could have shot Jacob, and that could be his that blood. But I think we see Jacob fine in the next episode. I, I would love that. Yeah, they're not gonna show us too much. No, like I and said, then we don't want to spoil it, it's right? All, you know, it's amazing. I can't not. believe it's only gonna do the, all that in one episode. That's what I said to I, Candy. I, I was like, I how are they gonna wrap this up in one mm. episode? There's so much fun stuff happening now. Not fun uh, necessarily, but like would, interesting. It would have been great if it kind of went on for a bit yeah. longer, actually. But yeah. Yeah, and it looks like our viewers li would like that if Sarah came and shot A&W. They're like, oh, nice, Candy. Nice. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice theory. They're really excited oh. about that. Nice. They want blood. Uh, <laughs> they want blood. They're coming for blood. All right. So I think that's it from all of us. Um, I think we're good. I think we're doing great. Any last-minute commentary that you want to share with us? Any, no, anything? I just want to say thank you to you guys. Oh, thank you, thank Steve. thank you to everybody out there for watching and being so supportive and uh, for all your enthusiasm. Um, it's 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 really great for us. That's awesome. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching us here at AfterBuzz TV talking Prison Break again. My name is Daniel Lingren. You can follow me at the Dan Lingren on Instagram and Twitter, and also <laughs> Booyah Vision on YouTube. And I'm MJ. And you can follow me on Instagram at MJ then Media Girl Girl. What are you? Yes, guys, it's always such a pleasure. I am Miss Candy Marie, and you can find me on Instagram at Miss Candy Marie and on Twitter at Sweet Kendoy TV. And I'm Steve Miz. <laughs> What's your last name, Steve? Steve Mazakis. Yeah. No, I just realized it looks like a B down there. You know, like those old um, uh, uh, Steve uh, Mazakis. Yeah, you can follow me <laughs> if that's your kind. If that's your thing. At, um, Up upcoming projects, real at, quick. At stevemazakis.com. Uh, what? Uh, uh, there's films that are in development that I'm doing. Awesome. Uh, if, if anyone's watching from Australia, the the Suicide Theory, which is on Netflix in the US, which I'm the lead in, yes. is being released Congrats. this week. Uh, in Australia um, on DVD and online platforms and stuff. So that's exciting. Um, Congratulations. Steve, again, thank you so much, everybody. Thanks, guys. Prison Break panel out. Yes. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Sir Richard Wentworth. Re the views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.